Game of Thrones fans, it's Vienna, Jasmine, Renee, Zach, and today we are watching Game of Thrones Season 7 Episode 2 because you guys decided to do an episode without me. Yeah, lame Yeah, it was pretty good. Was so you were only supposed to do, I was down at my grandma's, okay? Only boring, dull people have lives outside of Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah. Got them. Oh, uh, she's uh, boring and dumb anyways. Yeah. Dumb uh, I am not. Ooh. Boring is debatable. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Okay, um, so some pretty cool things happen, like Uncle Mark putting the board up so we can look at the names. Yeah, <laughs> Dad. Hey, we have to hide the names now. I know. Aunt Tina's up to season two, episode ten. No, season three. No, they haven't watched two. the finale yet. They haven't watched no, episode they, ten. I thought they did. Sorry. <laughs> okay, well, some fun things that happened. Arya disguised herself as um, Walter oh, Frey, yeah, that's Frey cool. and yeeted everybody who um, had a part in the Red Wedding. It was hilarious. Arya is becoming awesome. Yes. How fast did you guys guess it was Arya? I guessed it the she second I seen him. And I agreed with her right away, too. Very yeah, quick. I also agreed. I was like, oh, that'd be cool. Quicker than me when I watched it. You didn't know until the whole. Yeah, world. I know. <laughs> I, it took me like 30 seconds. I like, totally thought it was a flashback scene. Yeah. I did it first, and then Renee was like, it's probably Arya. I was like, oh. I said yeah. it was either a flashback or Arya, but probably Arya. I seen the f I seen Walder Frey, I was like, it's Arya. <laughs> Made a lot of sense. Got him. And it was. Um, oh. Also... Liana and all them. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pappin. Team John, um, Sansa was trying to undermine uh, John, and she's a little bitch about it. Yeah, that was dumb. Yeah, but like uh, the Karstark family and the Umber family, the the kids of little little Umber and uh, the other one, little John Umber, little John Umber, and the other one who were behind Ramsey and the Bolins, they the, their kids were like, no way, Jose, and they pledged allegiance under John because and. And like they were gonna, and John's gonna start mining for Dragonstone and like Dragonglass, Dragonglass, and um, manning the wall a lot more. And everyone's like, yeah. Oh yeah, the wildlings are now the Night's Watch. Yeah. <laughs> They're all crows that? now. We That's saw crazy. Night's Watch now. <laughs> we saw Jorah. We did at the very end of the episode. We were getting there yeah. to the end. It was at the very end. Yeah. It was the second to last scene. It was the lead end of the Danny scene. Yeah. It was Jorah. He it was asked, cool, yeah. Was he? Yes. Yeah, it was Jorah. Yeah, it was Jorah. It was pretty obviously Jorah. You could even, see the silhouette of his face. Even Uncle Mark said it's over the phone. Ha! Got him. Ha! What? Everybody knew it was Jorah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wasn't going to talk him out of it. <laughs> <laughs> because it's his voice and like he said the silhouette. And plus with the arm you can tell too. And, yeah. I um, had, to, when I tried to figure out who it was, I had to do the right arm. Thing like, yeah, it's that arm. Unless it spread to his right arm. Sam cleaned up some poop. Clint, oh, yeah, yeah, I cleaned gross. up a lot of poop. <laughs> his very exciting life. Yeah. That's the first montage we saw, though. In this show. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. I thought we saw the one of Brand's dream. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. montage. That, those were quick blurbs. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't consider it a montage. I think that kind of shows how he's trying to learn how to control all that stuff, but all he sees is mm -hmm. flashes. Yep. Um, I'm ready to watch the show. Yep, pretty much. Ready to roll? Yeah. Okay, let's roll. All right. Don't forget to like oh, yeah. and subscribe <laughs> um, to our channels, not Uncle Mark's. Yep. And wow. Uh, unsubscribe. <laughs> no. Unsubscribe to us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, seriously, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe or uh, stop watching. We're gonna cry a little bit internally. Mm. I always thought this would be a homecoming. It doesn't feel like that. We won't stay on Dragonstone for long. Good. With the Tyrell army and the Dornish on our side, we have powerful allies in the south. I never probably thanked you for that. They joined our side, my queen, because they believe in you. Robert was an improvement on your father, to be sure. 
There have been few rulers in history as cruel as the Mad King. Robert was neither mad nor cruel. He simply had no interest in being king. Until your marriage to Karl Drogo, your grace, I knew nothing about you save your existence and that you were said to be beautiful. So you and your friends traded me like a prize horse to the Dothraki. Which you turned to your advantage. Who gave the order to kill me? King Robert. Who are the assassins? Who sent word to Essos to murder Daenerys Targaryen? Grace. I did what had to be done. To keep yourself alive. Lord Varys has proven himself a loyal servant. Proven himself loyal, quite the opposite. I was sold as a slave and carved up as an offering. When I was a child, I lived in alleys, gutters, abandoned houses. You wish to know where my true loyalties lie? Not with any king or queen, but with the people. The people who suffer under despots and prosper under just rule. The people whose hearts you aim to win. Grey Worm can behead me, or your dragons can devour me. But if you let me live, I will serve you well. I will dedicate myself to seeing you on the Iron Throne because I choose you. That's a pretty good uh, speech right there. Swear this to me, Varys. If you ever think I'm failing the people, you won't conspire behind my back. You look me in the eyes you have done today and you'll tell me how I'm failing you. I swear it, my queen. And I swear this. If you ever betray me, I'll burn you alive. I expect nothing less from the mother of dragons. Wait, Red Priestess. Is that, uh... Melisandre? <gasps> I don't know if this is good. No, it's not. Now, Stanos. Kiss your dredge as your legs. Skoro sa jumele brozie? Melisandre is a brozie. She once served another who wanted the Iron Throne. It didn't end well for Stannis Baratheon, did it? We've just decided to pardon those who once served the wrong king. Vosis bandis amazis, merikivio tolalaris os machado juntas. The prince who is promised will bring the dawn. I'm afraid I'm not a prince. Your grace. The proper translation for that prophecy would be the prince or princess who was promised will bring the dawn. Doesn't really roll off the tongue, does it? No, but I like it better. I believe you have a role to play. As does another. The king in the north, Jon Snow. Jon Snow? That stock's past You know him? I traveled with him to the wall and joined the Night's Watch. He sounds like quite a man. Summon Jon Snow. Let him stand before you and tell you the things that have happened to him. The things that you've seen with his own eyes. But I like Jon Snow and I trusted him. And I'm an excellent judge of character. <laughs> if he does rule the North, he would make a valuable ally. The Lannisters executed his father and conspired to murder his brother. Jon Snow has even more reason to hate Cersei than you do. Tell Jon Snow that his queen invites him to come to Dragonstone. And bend the knee. Oh, I wouldn't do that. He ain't gonna do that. And the dwarves are bastards in their father's eyes. What does that mean? It's something he said to me the first night we met. Tyrion's not like the other Lannisters. He's always kind to me, but it's too great a risk. The Seven Kingdoms will bleed as long as Cersei sits on the Iron Throne. Join us. Together we can end her tyranny. Fire kills whites, you told me. What breathes fire? You're not suggesting John meet with her. No, too dangerous. But, but if the army of the dead makes it past the wall, do we have enough men to fight them? You will remember the Mad King. You remember the horrors he inflicted upon his people. His daughter is no different. In Essos, her brutality is already legendary. She crucified hundreds of noblemen in Slaver's Bay. And when she grew bored of that, she fed them to her dragons. We must stand together, all of us, if we hope to stop her. Mm. I hate her so much. 
She has three full-grown dragons, your grace. <laughs> the same as Egon when he conquered the Seven Kingdoms. You were the only man to defeat Robert Baratheon in battle, not even Rhaegar to Gary. It's a long ride back to the Reach, sir. Oh, may I, sir? I want you to be my ranking general in the wars to come. I want you to swear allegiance to Cersei, and I want you to help me destroy her enemies. All her enemies. Including a letter Tyrell. I swore an oath to half Tyrell. You swore an oath to the crown as well, Lord Tony. I know the Lannis was always a child. She was a great woman once. Now she's broken. Do you fight with us? Or with fallen savages and eunuchs? When the war is won, the Queen will need a new order of the South. The infection has spread too far. You should have cut off your arm the moment you were touched. Jorah! How long? They are long till. Your wine? Six months. Maybe if you're. I met Stannis Baratheon's daughter at Castle Mac. She had the grace came as a baby and was cured. But no. Isn't there some way? Does this look like a baby to you? No. Have you studied the varying rates of grayscale progression in infants and fully grown men? Mr. Crescent discovered Shireen Baratheon's affliction immediately. This is quite advanced. Were you a commoner or I'd have you shipped to Valeria at once to live out your life with the stone man? As an anointed knight, how you choose to spend that time is up to you. Did he just suggest him to kill himself? I mean, come somewhere. What else do you have to do? Should we send word to your family? Sure, Lord. Moment. There's no need. I've been dead to them for years. Come, son of a The beast that Aegon rode across the sea, its flames forged the iron throne, and brought the seven kingdoms to heal. Powerful. I'm not invincible. Fierce. 
I was bravest. Always. I believe it. Until I meet Miss Sandy from the Isle of Nod. Now, I have fear. I see. Skills. 